welcome to the Facebook Live this week, which is all about how to be the dynamic that you need to be. Bit of a strange language there, but you are the dynamic force in your business. You know, what you do, everything you do is a driving force in your business. And the question I'm gonna ask you is, where are you driving it? Where is your dynamic driving your business today? When you think about it for a minute, you are who you be, how you be, how you act, how you behave, determines the performance of your business. And it determines it because your dynamic is the force that stimulates change, that stimulates progress, that stimulates activity on your business. If you're the leader of the business, you're the person that's making that happen. Because the dynamic that you are is the single most powerful element of your business environment that your people work in. So you are the greatest influence on their performance. And a lot of people in business, managers and leaders, don't understand that who they are being how they behave, what they do, the force that they are, the dynamic they bring to the business, really influences how people perform in the business. You've probably experienced this yourself, and if you take a minute and stop and think about your work life experience, there have been times when you've worked for a boss whose behaviour, attitude and everything has encouraged you to step up and take things on and, and try harder and work harder. And then you've worked for bosses that have really sort of made you feel, well, I don't give a damn. Why should I bother putting myself out for this person? That is what we're talking about today, is who you are as a dynamic really will influence the performance in your business. And you can have the best business, you can have the best products and services, you can have the best location, you can have all the right things, you could pay the best wages, you could get the best holidays and bonuses. All of those things will be trumped by how you, as the leader or manager of a team, performs, how you be to them, the dynamic you are, without trump all those things. So how does this work? How does it work that your dynamic is affecting what's going on? Well, take a think about it for a minute. People that work for you, whether you are their manager or their leader, they follow your example. They look up to you. You are the, the, sort of the, the role model for them. That's the, why you're in that position. So if they see you behaving in a particular way, that is going to influence their behaviour. Also, people learn from your behaviour. Now, that doesn't always go the way you want it to, because if you are behaving in a particular way, people are going to interpret that a particular way and they're going to learn from how they interpret your behaviour. Now, you may think you're being fun and jolly and enjoyable and exciting and friendly, but they may interpret that completely differently and they will learn a lesson from that and it might not be the lesson you want them to learn. Your actions will shape the actions of other people around you. So if you walk through the office like a bull in the china shop, that's going to influence the actions of other people. Some people are going to react to it in one way that they go, oh, I'll do that too, and they take on exactly the same actions. Other people may be frightened by it, may be made nervous by it. So actually they start performing worse because they're not living up to the standard or they're not living up to your expectations and they get frightened of you because you run around shouting and screaming and banging your hand on a desk the whole time. So actually what you do really, really matters. That environment that you're curating around you, and curating, I mean that, curating around you, bringing together all the things, all the people in it, you're creating their individual actions and together they are creating the business environment. And if that business environment is disabling, then your performance is going to go down. If that environment is enabling, then the performance is going to go up. Your dynamic is either suppressing performance or it's lifting the performance up. And the overall impact isn't just what you do to one person, it's what you do to the group of people that are around you because they will talk to each other, their behaviour will influence each other, but you are the kingpin and you are the one that it all, you're the fulcrum if you like, everything spins around you. So what, what is this about? You know, if, if, if that's what's going on and that's how this works, how can you change or influence your dynamic to, to make it better, to get better performance? What, what dynamic do you need to be? Well, first of all, you need to really start with your vision of your business and the purpose of your business. What are you doing it for? What are you trying to achieve in your business? Because that will really influence the dynamic that you need to be. You need to be really clear about your values because your dynamic is an expression of your values. I was reading a book recently, Everybody Matters, and in there, there was this lovely passage where 
Um, a guy who'd been working on a plant in another country came back to his home plant and as an engineer, he walked in and was expected to clock in. But he'd just spent three months in another country where he wasn't expected to clock in. And when the chairman of the company said, you know, hey, we trust you all, the guy went, no, you don't. Because I just spent three months in another country and I just got on with my job and I was able to come in and out and I was trusted to be responsible for my effort and my output and my contribution. But now you come back here, you want me to clock in. You want me to have a break at a set time. You want me to do things like clockwork because you don't trust me to do it otherwise. Whereas your people in the offices, they don't have to clock in. You let them have coffee breaks when they want, but they get the work done. So do you trust the people on the plant floor as much as you do in the offices? And the chairman sort of looked at that and went, oh my God, our actions are speaking much louder than our words. And immediately they took all the time clocks out of the offices and stopped the fixed time for coffee breaks and things so that people actually could work more efficiently and more effectively. And guess what? Performance shot up. So once you know the vision and your values, that's really important for determining your dynamic. But the other thing is, what do you want your people to contribute? What is it? How do you want your people to contribute? How do you want your people to be within the business? Because that's also going to determine your dynamic. If you want your people coming to work and just fixed, doing what they're told and leaving and not making any contribution, just literally being bits of machinery, well then one particular dynamic will get that result. But if you want your people to be creative, innovative, flexible, contributing to your business, then that sort of dynamic of that fixed approach isn't going to work. And what's the outcome that you want your business to deliver to your customer? Because that is also going to be really important in determining the dynamic that you, the leader or manager of that business unit are every day, because that is going to determine the performance. And once you know the results that you want to create in your business, you can start to understand who you have to be as an individual to make those results work. And if you get that right, then those results will happen. Now, that has to include being a nice leader. Remember, nurture, inspire, challenge is really important. You've got to be able to challenge people effectively and to empower them to step up to the challenge that you're giving them. So it has to include that. But your dynamic will be unique to you and will be unique to your business. Because if you think about it, everything about your dynamic is talking about your business it's your people, your environment, and the solution you're doing to your, delivering to your customers. And this is why some people can be a very successful leader manager in one business, and they take their dynamic to another business, and it doesn't work, because the next business actually needs and requires a different dynamic. And when you have CEOs moving around from companies to companies every sort of four to five years, that can be really damaging to the performance of a business because what's happening is you're getting this new dynamic at the top of the company, which influences everyone below it. And that can influence performance. Now, if you're not clear about your purpose or your vision or your values, then may I suggest you have a purpose conversation with me. It lasts for up to two hours. We do it online over a Zoom call and it costs £249 thereabouts, just under £250. And you can find it on my website under products. Just scroll down to the purpose conversation. I think it's on the top right hand side of the, of the products available. And you can book it directly in at a time that's convenient to you as long as I'm available at the same time. So if you want to get clear about your purpose, do that. But if you want to find out about your purpose and get your dynamic right, just work out, start with your vision, your values and your purpose. Work out what those are. Work out what you want your team to be doing and how you want them to be doing it. And also work out what you want to deliver to the customer. Because when you're clear about that, you can sit down and start to think, well, how have I got to be? What force have I got to be in my business? What dynamic do I have to produce in my business so that my people can produce the results I want to produce? Remember, you are the most important thing in the environment of your business. You are the driving force. You are the force of change. You are the force of performance. Have fun, take care, look after your dynamic and look after your people. Bye for now.